Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number 80-CWS door reinforcer. And this plate is slightly less common because it's just a, bit, a blank plate is what it is. The 80 is one of a family of blank plates from Don Joe for inch and three quarter thick doors. The 80 is the smallest one. It's four and a half by four and a quarter, but we'll get to that in its sister products as well. This is what it looks like. So the 80 is literally represented, uh, represents a plate of a wrapper, a door reinforcer of this size. This size and this size here as well. The CW in the part number means commercial wrap. At one point they had an IW interior wrap. I really don't know the difference um, and I'm not sure that the people at Donjo remembered the difference. If I was going to guess, I would say an IW was a thicker, uh, pardon me, a thinner material than this 22 gauge, which is about 34 thousandths or so. We'll go over that in a moment. This is an S. That means it's stainless steel. It's made of stainless. Um, and, I mean, it's completely stainless steel. And it is in a satin brushed finish. Peel away a little of the... Uh, peel away some of the backer, the protective paper that's there. You can see it's a brushed finish. Now let's go over the dimensional properties of it and a blank plate. We'll talk about why you might use that. This is going to be four and a half inch tall. It's going to be four and a quarter wide and generally their plates run a little bit wide. I usually see that the edge of the door to the plate itself is really about the order size and that this is for an inch and three quarter thick door, as indeed it is. Now, where would you use a blank plate? Well, I've had people order them to use them to literally close off a hole on a door. There's a hole for a lock. I just want to make it go away. Give me one of those U-shaped door reinforcers. Okay, that works. Um, technically, though, it's not permissible to use on a fire rated door. These are not listed at all. They're not labeled at all. So adding what an inspector would call additional fuel load to a door would would technically technically put you in violation of the fire rating of the opening anyway moving on you could use it obviously for an instance where you needed to have a longer or taller wrap door reinforcer than was available I've had people order the uh, 40 size and cap this on top of it because the 40 I think is about 9 inch and this is four and a half because they literally needed to get to 12 inch and there were two options have one custom made or stack them on top of each other with that little seam that's there and stacking on top of each other was always has always been the option uh, rather than um, the extreme upcharge for a custom plate the another reason might be is you have an unusual back set uh, that is not unheard of not uncommon you could literally have a um, a two-inch back set. There is a manufacturer who makes two-inch back set deadbolts that would work perfectly with this. If you had that, uh, you might be able to make it work. Uh, if you had a two-inch back set and you needed a wrap, Don Joe doesn't make one with a hole for a two and a half uh, at a two-inch back set. So you could consider taking a blank one like this and drilling your own holes. Now this is stainless. Some people will uh, reject outright the possibility of drilling through stainless. I understand it's brutal. Um, there are other people who say, no, I don't care, I can drill through it. If I was going to do it, and when I do it, I would put a piece of material inside of here. I would then use a drill press with lubrication and a proper tool, and that would give me the nice hole at the proper size, but definitely putting something inside of here so that I'm drilling into something solid. Okay, they say that it's 22 gauge. Let's put that on the instrument of truth, which is also known as my caliper. I don't, re I don't know what 22 gauge equates out to in a decimal size, but let's just look at what its decimal is. 0.030, so 0 0.030 is what this measures in thickness. So it's basically a 32nd of an inch. It's a good size. It feels robust. You know, it doesn't, you know, it's sturdy. You're not going to bend this uh, un un uh, unnaturally or damage it. Um, you don't want it too thick because you, you get material that's too thick. Now that bend on this plate is going to be awfully difficult to get it installed down onto a door. Um, now there's a link below this video to the template. Let's take a look at 
link to the template is going to show you the dimensional properties of the item. We've basically already gone over it. It does mention the other finishes that it is available in. PB for polished brass, AB for antique brass, BZ for bronze, satin bronze that is. So that would be 605, 609, and 612 finish. 10B, that's not 10B. Uh, they shouldn't call it 10B. It's a problem. It should be called powder-coated dark brown because that's what it is. They don't manufacture an oil-rubbed bronze. And the use of the term 10B really means oil rub bronze. Regardless of the base material, people are going to understand 10B is oil rub bronze. But oil rub bronze is really never interpreted as powder coated dark brown, which is what they do. So, and it's not a problem. I just have a, I, it is, it causes issues when they call things 10B and it's not 10B. It's really duranotic is what it is. So they'll take stainless steel, then they'll pow powder coat it dark brown or duranotic and then call it 10B. The issue is this, um, they don't make a 10B. Uh, 10B would be either 613 finish, which means solid bronze with an oil rubbed process over it, or 640, which means it's steel with an oil rubbed process over it. So be mindful, if you're buying 10B from um, Don Joe and a door reinforcer, it's not 10B, it's dark brown powder coat. That template will also show you that it is made in stainless. The rule of thumb with powder coating is when you're gonna powder coat something, you'll powder coat the least expensive base material. So they would literally powder coat this stainless. Um, there is also a link to the document called product brochure and I'm pulling that up here and looking at it. So that product brochure is really handy because it will not only allow you to get to the page, which I think is 3F in this catalog, where they have indeed the blank reinforcers. Uh, you can see from page 3F, at least of the current document, that they have three sizes for inch and three quarter and two for inch and three eighths. So that's handy. They, they're really going to get you started on, on being able to blank off some holes uh, regardless of why you need them. Now that 90, that's five by 12, that's great because you can really slap a lot of lock sets on there. If you've got maybe an old card access system and again it's not fire rated you can drill your own holes in there and, and really salvage the door and move forward um and about the fire rated and adding the fuel load hey if your if your inspectors is will permit it um that is the final call on that but it is truth to say that this is not fire rated at all none of these are um not that they necessarily wouldn't be but i could imagine don joe not paying for fire tests on their material, even though I would think that they really ought to, because you do see their door reinforcing plates on hotel suite entry doors, and those are always fire rated, or at least they're smoke rated, right? Now, um, the rest of that catalog is handy because you're probably, if you're looking for a reinforcing plate, probably not looking for a blank one. Um, you're probably looking for one with the holes that you need, so that catalog will permit you to get to where you have to be with um, a part number then you can populate that get back to the site uh, as well so a very handy way to go about doing that um, nothing else to say about the product catalog and we've covered the template now lastly there is a link below this video to the manufacturers page where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Don Joe, this is their part number 80-S or 80-CW in a S finish, stainless steel, satin finish, or any other Don Joe product, feel free to reach out to us. That link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review all of their top level categories in addition to the full catalog. The individual top level category catalogs are better because the documents are smaller the point of the matter is if you're looking for just door reinforcers go to that go to that catalog alone if you know the name don joe you probably do so because of door reinforcers or their latch protectors but you can see from the other eight or ten catalogs that they make a lot more than just those two product lines and i would suggest that you review the rest of their catalog because they're a company that is uh, very concerned uh, and engaged with their client base. They do a good job. On the rare occasion that they make a mistake, they make it right immediately. And we appreciate that. When you call there, generally the person you speak to is the person who can answer the, the, the question for you. So again, any questions on the 
Donjo number 80 or any other Donjo product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.